overwhelmed and stressed in your daily life? Sometimes, our minds become cluttered with thoughts and worries. In today's story, we will explore the importance of emptying our minds. Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a wise old man. People from far and wide came seeking his advice and guidance. One day, a young man approached the old man, burdened by the weight of his thoughts. The old man smiled warmly and asked the young man to sit beside him. Empty your mind, the old man said gently, and let go of your troubles. The young man was puzzled. How could he empty his mind? The old man explained, imagine your mind as a glass of water, filled to the brim with thoughts. Just as a glass must be emptied before it can be filled again, your mind needs to be emptied too. The young man listened intently, eager to learn more. The old man continued, to empty your mind, find a quiet place and sit comfortably. Practice deep breathing, allowing each exhale to release tension and worries from your mind. As you let go of your thoughts, imagine them dissipating like clouds in the sky. With each breath, your mind becomes clearer and more spacious. Embrace the silence and stillness within you. The young man tried it and felt a sense of peace washing over him. He realized that by emptying his mind, he was freeing himself from unnecessary burdens. Without the constant chatter in his head, he was able to see things more clearly. The young man thanked the old man for his wisdom and promised to make emptying his mind a regular practice. From that day forward, the young man experienced a newfound sense of tranquility and joy. He became more present in each moment, appreciating the beauty of life. By emptying his mind, he was able to embrace new ideas and opportunities with an open heart. Remember, our minds need occasional rest from the busyness of life. Take some time each day to empty your mind, and you'll discover a world of peace and clarity. Now, it's your turn to empty your mind and create space for happiness and serenity.